All right, so in this video, I'll tell you how to become a lucid dreamer in one day. It is possible, and when I say become a lucid dreamer, I mean you're gonna have regular lucid dreams that you control. You can dream about what you want to, and you can decide when to do it. So I've been teaching this for over 10 years, just, no, just under 10 years actually. Uh, I've been lucid dreaming myself for over 10 years. And I'll break down everything I've learned. I've spent probably over $50,000 or more in learning, training, books, studies, coaching, courses and research into lucid dreaming to find out what's the best ways of doing it, the most effective ways. So in this video I'll teach you everything I'd, pretty much everything I knew and know in one video. So stick around. Okay so firstly it's possible to learn this and get to a point within one day where you are actually having regular lucid dreams but, and here's the big, it's a big but, they won't be every night. You know if what I'll teach you to do now that you'll practice in one day will get you to the point where you're having at least one lucid dream a week. If you want to go beyond that you're going to need to do some more things and practice a bit more and it's going to take you longer than one day. So with that being said uh, here's what you actually do. The first step and really this is the biggest step of all is you need to break down your beliefs and, and your subconscious beliefs about this stuff. If you've just started or if you haven't done this before chances are you're going to have all kinds of subconscious beliefs and blocks about lucid dreaming. You are going to not understand it. You might not believe you can do it. You probably, if you're like most people, have not had that many lucid dreams and the ones you did have were quite blurry. So you don't really have any frame of reference. There's nothing you can point to and say, yeah, I want to do that again. Because maybe you can't even define a lucid dream and maybe for some of you you can't really tell if what you've had was a lucid dream or if it was just a normal dream that was really vivid and so because of that how will you know when you've achieved success you won't so you need so basically your beliefs are really important you need to first start breaking down your beliefs uh, about lucid dreaming and just tell yourself and remind yourself that you can actually do it and, and I did I did make another video which you should check out on this channel about lucid dream and motivation. I'll summarize it for you though if you don't have much time. Basically, it's very logical. Everybody dreams every night and really the only thing that separates a, a lucid dreamer from the average person is they actually remember their dreams. And this is something that you can train, you can practice it and you can improve at this regardless of who you are or how many dreams you remember now. So it's very logical, it's very simple. And you know, I, I don't have time in this video to explain how to remember your dreams, but that's what you should focus on. So going back to the beliefs thing, you need to flood your subconscious mind with the new belief system, which is that you can control your dreams, it happens to you often, and you can decide when to do it. You need to just completely flood your subconscious mind and your conscious mind with that idea. So this can be things like, your, you change your passwords, this is quite a good one. Uh, let's say you, you use the same password to log into your phone, computer, something. If, you, if it's a text password, you can change it to an affirmation like I lucid dream all the time and then a random number or I'm a lucid dreamer, 31 or something. That's not my actual password, <laughs> so don't try. But yeah, and then what happens is as you unlock your laptop, you, type, you might type that in 20 times a day or more, right? Or if you, when you unlock your phone, you would have um, a picture with some text and you can make this on Canva for free or, I c or you can search Google Images or something. And you would just basically change your phone background to a picture that says, I can lucid dream. And then every time you unlock your phone, obviously you see that, you see that affirmation and you think about it and you read it, read it out in your head and then that becomes the belief. So there's all these different ways that you have of changing the subconscious belief by re repeating the new belief, the thing you actually want to believe. So you have the password, phone lock screen, and then you have just standard affirmations, you know, just re reading out to yourself again and again the new belief or what you want the new belief to be. So that's the first half. Flood your system with this new belief system, the new belief, the affirmation, and in as many ways as possible, okay? The next part is a little bit harder and it takes a bit more effort but you're going to consistently for the whole day practice the things and visualize the things that you want to be able to do so let's say 
in the case of lucid dreaming, with the wake back to bed technique, you would need to actually physically get out of bed at 4 a.m., stand up, walk around. I mean, they even say that for the best results, you should actually wake up and stand, stand up for at least an hour before going back to bed. Now, I can't do that because once I've been out of bed for more than a minute or so, I'm awake and I'll be awake for the whole day. But you should still practice getting out of bed and going back to bed, which is the technique. So the way you do that is you actually practice it during the day. So you would set your alarm, and this is, assume, this is obviously assuming you, have, um, you don't have a job or you, you have a free day or something. You, you can't do this you know, while you're working. But what you would do is you would actually practice setting your alarm Laying, going into bed, getting comfortable, and then the alarm goes off, and then you get out of bed. And you would practice that during the day as many times as you can, maybe 30 or 40 times. And yeah, I know it sounds like a lot, but hey, come on, we're, we're learning how to lucid dream in one day. We're, we're skipping past what normally takes months or even years to learn. So if you get 40 repetitions in, that's almost the equivalent of practicing that movement that getting out of bed when the alarm goes off and then going back to bed. It's almost the equivalent of practicing that for a month and a half, roughly. No, yeah. So it's pretty good, it's pretty powerful, especially if you do it more than 40 times, which in theory you could do in about two or three hours if you set your alarm to go off every kind of two or three minutes. I mean, somebody crunched the numbers there, I'm sure the maths is something like that. Anyway, so that's it um, for that one. And then the next thing you can do Right, I need to switch arms for this. The next thing you can do is you can practice the things, you can visualize, pra practice visualizing the things that you would do in the lucid dream. So you would lay down several times during the day and you would visualize becoming lucid in the dream. So you would actually go through the motions in your head. You would imagine, okay, I'm walking down here. Then I look at my hands, then I do a reality check. And then I look around at the dream and you might be somewhere like this, let's say outside and you look at the trees and you think, hmm, this might be a dream. And then of course you become lucid and then you visualize, still in while you're awake, okay? Visualize what you would do next. So you might, you know, climb up the tree, run around, or I don't know, it could be literally, it could be anything. But whatever it is, you need to visualize it while you're still awake. And then you're kind of like getting reps in, repetitions. You're just repeating the same action, the same visualization and getting the numbers in because it's really just a numbers game much of lucid dreaming is a numbers game it's about consistently repeating the actions and the exercises until eventually you get to a point where that's your normal state and you kind of always do that you kind of always question your reality do reality checks you know you can easily do the wake back to bed without forgetting or getting too tired and that's it